Hello there, I am Giant Gold with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we finished up Route 123, and we also, uh, saw, we also flew back to Swayport, and we saw that, uh, Captain Stone's submarine was stolen by Team Magma, so we chased them back to Lily Cove here in their hideout, so, yeah. And we took on the first Team Aqu Team, I almost said Team Aqua. I said Team Aqua there though. Uh, we took on the first Team Magma Grant, and he had two Poochianas, but he was only the first one, so they're probably gonna get a little bit harder, but not by much, honestly. I have Screamo stuff front, so that's awesome. Let's go to the next door. I think this is just so it's an item. Okay, never know. I actually wanna get to that. I actually wanna get the other item on the other teleporter. So I'm gonna press that, go down, and you get an item, so that's awesome. What is it again? I forget. It's a Max Elixir. I'll make sure to put that on my PC and save it for later. Cool. So there's that, um, I guess the correct way to go is, um, just go to the top teleporter, and we're still in the mag- this is a big place, kind of, it's, like, fairly big. It's not huge, but it's, like, fairly big, I should say. Here's a female, uh, Team Magma Grant, I believe. Uh, yeah, what panels, uh, the hideouts, pride and joy. You're coolest about where they are, aren't you? Now, I'm going off of memory, but I have a pretty good idea of this place, yeah. You know, all in my head, but whatever. Fluster and tire out the enemy, then lower the boom. That's our plan. Let's see if you can do that, because I pretty have a good gist of where everything is in this hideout, just off of memory. So let's see about that team Mega Grunt, that's a female. A female team Mega Grunt, I should say. So this, she, she has a Zubat that's female in level 33. Cool. Let's go for the air race on this thing. It hits, awesome. Nice, and it puts in the red. Awesome, air cutter. Oh, you have air cutter too? That's cool. Air cutter only did 2 HP on uh, Skarmory. Yeah, let's go for our own air cutter attack then. Nice, this should knock it out, and it does. Cool. That's all she had though on her team, wow. Okay. What's wrong with you? You're not tired at all. You're my second trainer that, a person that I battled through this hideout. Jeez. Anyway, thanks for the 1,320 exp I almost said experience points. I had experience points there, huh? But, no, that's Poké Dollars, I mean. 1,320 Poké Dollars. So there's, there's only, okay, so right there, those four items you see, I th okay, one of, two of them are Electrodes, based off of my man, pretty sure, I'm mean, percent they're Electrodes, so they're all form of Volatorbs. So now what we saw in New Marvel where we anchored some, uh, Volatorbs, these are Electrodes. That is, I think, all level 30, to both of them are level 30, I believe. And then there's, uh, I, I'm guessing the bottom one is a Nugget. The bot the the um bottom right corner one the bottom left corner one is a nugget, probably. And then the top right the top left corner one oh shoot, I meant the bottom left corner is a nugget. And the, the top left corner is probably gonna be the master ball. And then the, the um the top right and bottom right Pokeballs are, are gonna be electrodes probably. That's my guess. So did I do check this trash can? I think I already did it. It's empty. Cool. So you don't want to leave this hideout, like I said in the last part, after you beat Team Magma here, because it'll close off eventually, I think right after you, you try to go for the Pokemon League to Evergrande City. I think that's when it closes off and you can't enter it again. There's been a playthrough, at least one playthrough, where I didn't grab the Master Ball, and I really regretted it because the Master Ball is such a great item, it catches any full Pokemon without fail. So yeah. So this is another, uh, female, uh, Team Aqua, I oh, said Team Aqua, dang it, Team Magma Grant, yeah. Yawn, keeping watch over the hideout boys, me, I'll take you on. Okay, cool. That's fine by me. Yeah, here's another female, Team Magma Grant. She has two Pokemon, one's a Poochiana, cool. That's good for her, let's go for the stealing on this thing. We haven't used stealing in a while, actually. Oh, uh, Screamo hasn't used stealing in a while. There we go, nice. Screamo's defense row is awesome. Nice. And a Nummel, okay cool. We'll stay in though, we'll keep Screamo in. Even though Nummel probably has Ember. Maybe even Flamethrower, I don't know. Let's just air this thing, this Nummel is level 31 and female. A critical at awesome, I'll take it. Nice, okay. So another Nummel will stay in with Screamo, I guess. And use another Air Lace. Yeah, that's our plan. Let's see if this one kills it. It does, cool critical, I'll take it. And that number is also level 31 fem female. Awesome. Cool. Yawn. Oh, I lost. Thanks for the 1,240 uh, pocket dollars, though. I think if you go over here, there's just, at least an item. This teleporter just leads to an item. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it leads to the actual puzzle of the, the ticket to the big items, like the Master Ball, the Nugget, and the electrodes. Well, okay. 
I don't even remember the puzzles, I'm just doing this off of memory. I think I'm going the right way. You won't always go to the right, apparently. I think it's either the middle or the right. Okay, it's the middle. Dang it. Or no, 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 shoot. I'm messing this up. I'm messing this up. Okay, let me try this again. Let me get to that one spot. We want to go to the far right one, I believe. And that's the correct one. There we go. That's right. Cool. So this is probably an outroad. Well, I'll show this, I guess. We don't have to cut this out. Or I don't have to cut this out. So this electrode is level 30. Awesome. What you stealing on this thing? Cause steal, cause air cutter, air race, and fly won't do that much. Okay, I was afraid it's use self destruct, but you know, scar moves have steel types, so it resists normal type moves, and self destruct and explosion, those moves are normal type moves, so. Yeah, free experience basically, without even having to use a move. Awesome. So I'm right with the two electrodes being the top right and top left corners of those, uh, of this box thing. This electrode is also level 30, it's genderless, okay, just like the last one. I want to try to catch this one, honestly. This guy's just stealing. No, but of course it's gonna self-destruct, okay. Oh, well, t experience over catching it, I mean, I'm, I'd rather kinda get the experience, to be honest. So it kinda worked out for me in the end. Scream was almost level 36, awesome. This is Master Ball, right? I was right with my prediction, Master Ball was the top left corner of the square. And then also Nugget, awesome. So now we got that, we don't have to worry about like forgetting it, but I wouldn't have forgotten it anyway, because I have a good memory. Uh, my, uh, something was telling me in the back of my head to like, don't leave without the Master Ball and the Nugget and battling the two electrodes. So I, I, I was in pretty good shape, I, you know, it was easy. So that what's, that's what this teleporter leads to. Okay, cool. We can't run in the rocket, uh, the guy's saying like rocket, team rocket. We can't run in the, uh, team magma hideout. Let's battle you. I think you're a male, uh, team magma grunt. Fuel supplies loaded A-OK. -okay. Increase snacks loaded A-OK. -okay. Nothing left to do but KO a pesky metal loot. We'll see about that. Maybe I'll KO you, Pokemon. Okay, so this is just a, just a regular team magma grunt, male. Okay, cool. Oh, no more. Nice. Okay. Let's go for, let's actually switch out and go to uh, Metroid, I guess. So no Metroid to level 36. Okay, let's go Smokey then. Cool. Smokey will take on this Nummel. Okay, Nummel use anest 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 anesthesia. Anesthesia. I mean, uh, an uh, anemia. I, ca I can't even say that Pokemon word, right? Move. I was able, I can, uh, like, I can say it, pronounce it usually, but like, I'm recording this at like 10, 19 p.m. at night. I'm kind of getting tired, so like I'm kind of just getting tired, honestly, to be honest. So yeah, it's, uh, scream of uh, level to level 36. Awesome. Okay, so your next Pokemon is a Zubat, and your last Pokemon is actually a Zubat because you only have two Pokemon. The Zubat's level 32 in male, so it's gonna use Bite on Smokey. Okay, Smokey didn't flinch, but it used Flamethrower and it hits. Awesome. So I don't think this will actually level up Smokey to level 36, 36 but it'll be probably it'll probably be close. Yeah, okay, that's right. It was close, but not... Close, but no cigar, I guess you could say. Uh, I took a serious looking... Oh, I don't want to lick you. Jeez, that's a word... That was a word... That was the wrong adjective to use. Um, yeah. Or noun or whatever. I can't even think English right now. Jeez. Thanks for 1,280 poker dollars. And it's simple English, too. Hmm, <laughs> I'm supposed to happen. I, my mission just to hold you up. No matter how slow I go, it, it depends on how I... Uh, when I activate the cutscene, you silly goofball. So yeah, I'll switch Screamo with um, Smokey, I guess, yeah. And Smokey with a uh, uh, fighter with Screamo. Yeah, let's do that. Here's another team Magma Grunt. It's empty, okay, I was just checking the trash can. Here's a, I think this is in the male team Aqua Grunt. And there I guess he's saying team Aqua again, it's team Magma, jeez. If you want to know a secret about how to, you have to beat me, you, you have you have to, you have me to beat or something like that. I think, a, I think I said that right the second time. Here's another team Magma Grunt. With a Zubat? Okay, cool. Let's go for the flamethrower. Okay, so the Zubat's gonna use Bite on Smokey. It didn't flinch off some flamethrower hits. Awesome. This uh, Zubat's level 30 in male. Cool. That's great. Give this Zubat a medal or something, you know? I've kinda used that joke a lot in this project so far. Okay, yeah, uh, Smokey's now level 36. So let's get a fighter. Because this is almost coming out. Cool. Yeah. So this guy has two Pokemon, or four Pokemon actually, so that's cool, I guess. So let's go for the facade. This num was level 30 in male, so that's pretty cool. Facade when it kills it, awesome. Or fighter when it kills it with using facade, I should say. Puchiana, okay, cool, we'll stay in with fighter. And Puchiana will have to take a arm thrust to the face. This Puchiana's level 30 in male, so that's pretty cool. 
That's super effective, awesome. Nice. Okay, yeah, cool. Poochiana again. So there's two Poochianas and a Mole and a Zubat. Okay, that's kinda cool. Let's go for another Arm Thrust. If it hits, awesome. This Poochiana is level 30 and male, just like the last one, I believe. So that's awesome. Nice. Okay, yeah, we be defeated Team Magma Grunt. Cool. I can't win at all. Sorry, man. Thanks for the Poké Dollars, though. Uh, our hearted secret? Well, let's just say the submarine is at the far end, but by now, but by now, can't, 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 can't. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll have to fix that, I guess, or try to make it not stop or something. We'll do our best to try to stop it. Okay, so we're in another room with the Magma Hideout, apparently. Um, here's another Team Magma Grunt, so let's take him on. Uh, whoa, I- Whoa, I grew weary of waiting, you owe me a battle too. Of course, I still like the Team Magma uh, battle music. It's really, f it's really catchy, I like it. It's kind of relaxing too, even though it kind of sounds like timid and stuff and stressful. But not to me at least. Uh, let's see his facade on this number, it's level 33 male. Let's see if I want to kill it. It does, awesome. Nice. Uh, that's all you had. Cool. You only had a number. Cool. Tired of waiting, lost and dazed. Thanks for 600, 600 pocket dollars, though. Boss, is that good enough? <laughs> yeah, you stalled me, but never. Ha okay, I I'm not gonna even explain myself again when they say, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm here to stall you." And this just leads to a uh, item, I think. No, it doesn't actually. Okay, we actually have to go back. I'm backtracking. Okay, so the other teleporter is where it leads to item, I believe. If my search is correct. I hate how you can't run in this hideout, but that's okay. Here's an item, it's a nest ball. So again, I think we picked one up uh, west of Fortree on that route. Or uh, east of Fortree. It works good on Pokemon that are low leveled. Probably like Pokemon that are level 20 or below, probably. Preferably. It works good on catching those Pokemon. So if you're into catching a weak Pokemon and you want to have an easy time, just use nest ball then. So, uh, yeah, fighter's still level 35, right? Okay, cool. So here's, uh, Team Magma Admin uh, Tabitha, I believe, and, uh, he, don't go on the teleporter, because I think it teleports you back to the front, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, he, um, is, I'm guessing that's him. It might be, it might be Courtney, I think it's just Tabitha, though. He, he, he. Go ahead, I didn't, go, got here, got here already, did you? We underestimated you, but this is it. I'm a cut above all the grunts you've seen, uh, sorry, I missed... I skipped through the last word. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Sure, you're, you say you're not stalling for time, but Pokemon battles take time, and like, it looks like the submarine's almost ready to go underwater or something, you know? Oh, well, technically it's underwater, but like, go underwater and move away from the hideout. You cannot fool anyone, Magma Admin Tabitha. You don't fool me. He has a number level 32 male. Okay, let's just facade on this thing. Hopefully, when I kill it, that'd be nice. And let's see if it does. It, oh man, it holds on. Okay, magnitude 6. This shouldn't hurt too bad on fighter, but you never know. Let's see, it only does a little bit of HP. Cool, let's use um, arm thrust on this thing. Ah oh, man, it's gonna super potion. I could've just used, I could've just used facade again and probably just fainted it. But whatever. Oh well. I think arm thrust is gonna faint it anyway. Awesome, nice. Hit three times, awesome. Okay, so you have a camera up next. Okay, I'll stay. Fight will stay in, I guess, for that. Let's use facade on it. Let's see how much it does. Camera's level 32, by the way, male. Because it does a little bit of half for half. That's awesome. It's gonna say an amnesia. There we go. I said it right. Amnesia. There we go. I couldn't say it right. I couldn't say it correctly earlier for some reason. So yeah, there we go. Nice, the facade hit. Awesome. Now fighter's level 36. Awesome. I think he has a mighty and as last Pokemon. Yeah, mighty animal. We'll stand with Fido, I guess. Because Fido has the type advantage. Yeah, okay. Intimidate does cut uh, Fido's attack in half, though. It cuts it at least. I'm not sure if it's in half or just a little bit. I forget. Let's go for the vital throw. It's going to swagger on us. Or on Fido, I should say. It's going to raise um, uh, Fido's attack sharply. But jokes on you, I can get rid of the confusion with my old fruit. So even if Fido hits um, itself in confusion right now, it's not the end of the world. See, it's not the end of the world. I can just yell fruit. It's been a while since I used my yellow food for tail confusion, so jokes on you, Tabitha. 
Yeah, he fighter snapped out of confusion. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Otis Sleuth. Okay, that's the voice move we could probably use, but like best. That's good for us because he didn't do damage by using an actual attacking move. He's not very smart, honestly. You're gonna boost up fighters. The voice. You know, the thing is, you're just. You raised fighters' attack stat by, um, four stages now. Cause two per swagger. And now fighter is vital throw. It's not gonna miss cause it will automatically go second, but it never misses. So you can't just screw yourself right there. So thanks for playing. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. We defeated Magma Admin Tabitha. Hehe, <laughs> so I lost too. Yeah, good for you. Are you happy about that? I don't I don't even care. Just give me my prize money. I don't care if your boss goes wherever. I'm gonna go hunt you guys down and put you guys in jeopardy somehow. I don't know. So yeah, thanks for 1,280 poker dollars. Yeah, hee hee, I was just trying to toy with you, so our boss go through with our preparations or whatever. I, I misread that word, but I know it started with a P probably. Hee hee, our boss has already gone on his way to the s some cave under the sea. If you're going to chase him, you'd better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. Uh, I know where to go, actually. I have a general idea of where to go, where the correct, s where the sub will be. But whatever. But will you find, uh, but will you find it then? Hee hee, sure. Okay, so I think this teleport brings us to the beginning of the place. Yeah, okay, cool. We're almost the beginning. So we actually want to just make our way out. So yeah. Let's uh, keep, I guess we can keep Ryder up front. Yeah. So let's get out of this stupid hideout. I wonder if it seals after we, uh, I think when we're done with Team Magma, that um, that's when it seals off, but maybe, I don't think it seals off when we leave, though. Let's see, it stays open, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna actually go to the, back to Lily, fly back to Lily Cove because I'm lazy. I just wanna fly back. It'll be faster, actually. And I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. And do I have to store any items in my PC? Let me check real quick. Let me go to my bag. Well, it hasn't loaded. Oh, I would just put Scarmie back in the Pokeball, yeah. Okay, or Ultra Ball, I should say. Um, we're gonna sell, I'm gonna sell the Nugget at the department store. And, um, get more Max Repels. And then I'm gonna put the Max Ether Elixir in the, in my PC. And then I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. That's the plan. So I'll meet you guys back out where the shoreline was for, uh, Lily Cove City. Okay, here we are back in the shoreline of Lily Cove City. Actually, I wanna catch a, uh, Tentacool, just to have an HM slave for Dive and Waterfall. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure I can win Waterfall by HM, and I'm like 100% sure that I can win Dive, because I actually caught a Tentacool in my original Pokemon Ruby Walk the Guide to use Dive and stuff. So yeah. So let's see who's a front fighter is. I should remember that actually. <laughs> So I'm going to purposely try to run into a tentacle real quick. I think my pulse still might be on, or maybe not, I don't know. We'll see in a second. Depending on if I run into one Pokemon or not. I think there's an item I forgot, like, right, oh yeah, right there, I forgot the item. I'm going to get it real quick. I have to go back around, I think, or maybe actually I don't. I actually have to go back around by the end of this, but yeah. Yeah, it's all the way down here. Oh, here's a contest stall too. I think this is the the um highest hyper rank. I think this is like the master rank um contest stall right there. So yeah, there's a old elder couple right there that we passed. What is this item? It's a max repel. Cool, very worth picking up. I don't want this machine. Is what is it? Um, it doesn't want you to press A against it. it let you press A against it, but it doesn't say anything. Okay, whatever. So I take all the way back around. So I'll cut. I'll cut to where I'm back on my surfing. Uh. Uh, Metroid. There I go, like, forgetting the name of my Tentacool. Uh, nick the nickname for my Tentacool. Okay, here we are on the, um... Here we are on the, um, water again. Ooh, this Tentacool's level 35. Awesome. Nice. So let's, um, weaken this thing down. Let's go for a Rock Tomb, I guess. It's gonna use Bulby on Fighter, okay. Not the worst thing could've done. Well, yeah, it's not the worst thing could've done. Oh, I could've caught that, jeez. Rock Tomb hits, let's see how much it does. Rock Tomb, that's what I meant to say, yeah. Um, I'll use a Ultra Ball on this thing because I just want to catch this easily. We have 16 Ultra Balls. We have more Ultra Balls than Great Balls and Poke Balls. Jeez. And we'll actually switch uh, Master Ball with Repeat Ball. So it's like Poke Ball, Poke Ball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Dive Ball, Nest Ball, Repeat Ball. Has a nice ring to it, I guess, even though it kind of doesn't rhyme at all. It rhymes a little bit, but not really. Okay, so yeah, if we'll use an Ultra Ball on this thing, hopefully we can catch it. This tentacle is male on level 35, if I didn't already said that. But I think I already did, so I, can't, I th kinda think I'm repeating myself. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, we caught the tentacle, nice. Um, let's name this guy Diver. I think I named this, um, 
tentacle, my tentacle, my original Pokemon Ruby walk to guide Diver too. Because he's gonna be a little Diver helper and help us climb waterfalls and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking for the D and I can't find it for a second. Wow. Diver. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Diver sent to PC. Okay. We don't really need Diver yet, but we'll need them later. Dang it, I should put it on. That, uh, tentacle was male and it was also level 35. So we ran into two, two level 35 tentacles that are both males and back to back in wild encounters. That's kind of funny. Let's see here. Let's put a super repel on, of course. I bought 10 more repels at the department store while selling the nugget, like I said I would. So yeah, that's awesome. So now that's about 124. It's actually open to exploring battle trainers and stuff. Let's talk to the swimmer. If you just float with the sea like this, Pokemon come around to play. That's good to know. That is good to know. This is swimmer female, uh, Jenny. Okay, cool. She, she has a warmer level 35, that's female. Awesome. Let's go for, uh, the facade, I guess. There we go, nice. Okay, does a little bit of half, so that's good. The Astonish does neutral amount of damage, so that's good for us. It's not like it's super effective or anything. Critical, I'll take it. The one that goes down. Awesome. We defeated some of female Jenny, awesome. Oh, lost at sea. Thanks, sorry, thanks for the 200 Poké Dollars, though. I'm sure you'll find your way back to shore. You just stand on that one after I beat you though, so I think you're good. Well, here's um, a double battle. Who's up in my second slot? Uh, Smokey, smoke, that's probably not the best matchup. Let's go to, uh, let's go to um, Geico, I guess. Yeah. We can see Geico's subtitle is a new back sprite for the first time, actually. Sigh. Rita says, Sigh. Here I am, but who is with me? My little brother. Let's buy so I don't have to dwell on that. He's, he's, swimming, he's treading water right next to you. So like he can he he probably has ears and he can hear you, but whatever. Chin Chow and uh, Carvana. Okay, cool. Nice. So let's use uh, Arm Thrust on Carvana because that's basically effective, and let's use uh, let's use a new move Giga Drain on uh, Chin Chow. Yeah. Cool. I like um I like I honestly like Subtile's back sprite more than Grovile's back sprite, so that's good. Nice, okay. Okay, Carvana's just gonna screech on Geico, I guess. And Fighter's gonna use Arm Thrust. Yeah, this Carvana was level 34 male. I forgot to see if the, what the... I think the Chinchow was male, but I don't remember what level it was. Because I didn't really pay attention. My bad. We defeat System Bro, Rita, and Sam. Sam's a TPSC? I'm just kidding. Sam, it's your fault we lost. You're... You're in for it later, of course. Don't hurt him just because you lost. Thanks for 816 pocket dollars, though. So there's that trainer. These dark patches of uh, water you see right here, you can actually use dive, but we don't have dive yet. I chain for dive, but we'll get it soon. It's right after the 7 chain badge, if my memory serves me correctly. Now, I'm not going to battle all the trainers. I'm not going to try to battle all the trainers on the water. Just the ones I usually see that are in my line of sight, I guess. Because then I'd kinda, I might battle them all off screen. Maybe, maybe not. Really, it's kind of leaning towards like not, but whatever. Hmm, you're riding a Pokemon to swimming yourself. I have to. I am envious. Okay, I have to ride on a Pokemon to uh, surf on a Pokemon to go on the water. But I can't. My character can't swim for some reason. So sorry. Okay, so this guy's a Carvana level um 35 and male. I didn't catch his name though, but we'll catch his name at the end of the battle. I know this is a swimmer male though. Rough skin. Ouch. Yeah. So Carvana is the pre evolved form of Sharpedo, and um, Sharpedo is actually a Pokemon we haven't seen for a Pokedex, I don't think yet. So yeah. So now Fighters level 37, awesome. Player defeated a swimmer, uh, male Roland. Cool. Oh, I can't. Thanks for the 208 Poké Dollars, man. Okay, so let's switch to let's switch to Geico, I guess. Next, and let's switch Smokey with a uh, Fighter, and then. Uh, Twitch with, uh, Smokey. Why not? Yeah. Let's see, over here is rocks, rocks, and more rocks, basically. Here's an, here's an island we can actually just surf on. And land on, I guess. But I want to get back right on, uh... Dang, I go... Uh, again, I forget Metroid. There I go. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time remembering my tentacle's nickname, Metroid. It looks like a little Metroid, honestly. That's why I nicknamed it Metroid. Jeez. I can't put two together for some reason. 
I don't know, okay, so Mario's level 33, cool. Let's, uh, use Leaf Blade on this thing. It should be super effective, in fact, it will be super effective. So let's take it out, hopefully in one hit. Yes, awesome. Nice. And then a Wingle, okay. Wingle's level 33 and female, okay. Let's go for the Leaf Blade on this thing as well. Let's so just quick attack on us. Oh, and Geico. That's good to know. And yeah. Okay, we just gonna send out one more. Okay, I'm just gonna just, I'm gonna tell Giga I'm gonna tell Geico to, Giga, to use a Giga Drain. This one was level 33 and female. That's pretty cool. I also want to catch a one for an event later, um, but I have to. I'm probably gonna use a fishing rod. The soup, we get the super rod really soon actually, so I'll just do that. Nice. Yeah. We defeated a swimmer female Grace. I had no idea that you were so, this strong. Thanks. Well, I do have six gym badges, but yeah, I'm really strong. I'm an experienced Pokemon trainer. So yeah, is there any other trainers here? But there is. What's a power off? Of course. Just gonna super repel them. Here's another swimmer, I guess. Hey, you lost at sea? No, I kind of know where I'm at. Uh, well, kind of not really, but kind of also at the same time. Yes, I do. It's kind of a mix between both of them. So yeah, if you can beat my Pokemon, I can save you as your pilot. Oh, well, I don't need you as my pilot, but I will have a Pokemon rattle. I think this will be the last part of the video, by the way, because I'm coming close to 30 minutes in recording time. I'm at 28 minutes and 21 two seconds in counting for recording time. So let's go for um, the Leaf Blade on the Centicles, level 33 in male. That's good for us. Uh, it was still be neutrally effective. Yeah, it does a little bit over half. Us is going to be super effective though, jeez. Okay, we'll use Giga Drain to help you finish it off then. Let's see, don't, please don't have Liquid Ooze as your um, ability. Okay, you must have, you must have clear body, so that's good. Because Giga Drain was a, dra uh, an energy draining move, so it makes sense. Yeah, I could go to level 37, awesome. Spencer is about to use Tentacool. Okay, we'll switch to, um, we'll switch to Twitch because Twitch is a Psychic type Pokemon and Tentacool are half Psychic type Pokemon. Or half, um, poison type, I mean. Yeah, so it's gonna be super effective for you. It's like, um, I don't know, like, we can use Psychic on it, yeah. I think this is the first time I'm using Psychic on, for Twitch, or Twitch is using Psychic. I could be wrong, though. I think Twitch is using Psychic before, so I'm probably wrong on that. Yeah, another tentacle, of course. Let's see if we can find it with a super, uh, not a super, but a, a side beam. It's gonna be super effective. This tentacle is also level 33 and female. Uh, male. It should have evolved because, you know, Tentacle was le level 30, but whatever. Yeah, cool. We defeated Swimmer, um, Male Spencer. Awesome. We, uh, I, did, I skipped the dog, I'm sorry, but thanks for the 264 Poké Dollars. Okay, look at, well, let me look at my, well, let me switch my Pokémon first, but let me look at my Poké Nav. Because I want to, um, want to see something where I'm at, actually, because I'm not really sure. So let's look at a Pokonav. Horn map. So we're on Route 124, and Moss Deep City is right there to the left, right of us, I mean, right of us. So yeah, we're close to it, nice. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like, um... I think we can grab- what is this? I know this house, I think you can trade shards. Hunter's house. So I think you can trade shards for like, um, moves or something. I forget what he actually trades you. But I think he wants shards, so. I'm the diving treasure hunter. It's awesome. I'm an awesome- I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea divers- or deep dives to gather treasures. Rest down the, at the bottom. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards, like the red shard, you got to trade it with me. I don't know what I'll trade you, but I don't want to go after the red shards and green shards and blue shards. I don't want to do that, I've never really gone after that stuff, it's, it's a side quest, but I'm just not going to do it really. Um, Moss Deep City Awesome. So this is Moss Deep City Awesome. I said that awesome twice, jeez, I said it three times now. Is there an item over here, an item on these rocks or something? I'm just guessing. I guess not. Is there something over here? Let me check. Repel's effect will off, of course. I need to make good my Pokemon Nav. I'm gonna take it out of my bag so I can put another Repel on. Jeez. 
Oh, here's another trainer. I guess we could take on the trainer in the next part. So yeah. Oh shoot, she almost came in my own sight. Awesome. So yeah, this has been on Pokemon and we really like the part. The next part we'll take on the swim trainer. That's uh swim laps in a square, it looks like. So yeah. And then we'll take on Musty we'll show them off Musty City and maybe take on the gym if we have time. Get the super rod for sure, because we can get the super rod at um Musty City from a fisherman guru or fisherman to say the least. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I'm gonna let them gang by and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Ruby Video walkthrough guide.